Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make the interior for my burger house. Now, in honor of today, I will be... I had a burger as a desktop background for my computer in honor of that. So, anyway, if you want to know how you do that, you just simply go on the internet and save the picture as, and then once you get the download, you can just simply drag it into the My Pictures, which you can access that, well, by typing in My Pictures. Simple. Alright, into this um, thing underneath all programs for me. Anyway, so that's how we got it up on here. Anyway, now back to the tutorial. Before I actually show you how to make the interior, Please do remember to check out the Burger House exterior video in the description down below. You should probably make the Burger House before you decide to become the interior. So anyway, let's go inside here and get this, right? So, anyway, the first step on what we're going to be doing, we're going to be grabbing some torches. Also down here, we're going to be lining places up here. So. Make sure you have lots of light in here. Like this. There we go. That's pretty good light. Now, my idea, although um, it's not really summer, but I think about having a, like, a hot tub in here. So, I'm going to make this out of the signature uh, ingredients. Alright, I'm going to be grabbing some... So what I'm just essentially going to be doing is I'm going to be making a 4x4, four four, right? like that. Then I'm going to place some, um, this actually needs to be an 8x8, eight eight, so that's 4, let's actually make it a 6x6, six six. I think that'll be a better idea. Well, 7x7 seven seven works, we work. So anyway. Right now it's six by six. Yeah, let's just make it five by five. I think it'll work good. Like that as well. So we're going to add Well, I was actually not thinking of I was not really thinking of a pool now because I had changed the idea. But really what I've actually decided to do is to make like 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 a sort of a room that takes you to the second floor here and we can cover this third floor up what I like to call it the three floors to this burger house so I'm going to first of all cover the third row up with some, or third floor with the yellow wool, alright, we'll mess with the third floor later on in the video, but this is what I got right now, yeah that's the first thing that I should have done, uh, so, anyway, we got that in care now. Next thing is that we're going to be added the two patties, right? And we're going to leave a two by two space. Like, if you know, I get it. If you know what I'm talking about, like, essentially, it's going to be like this. Right? Like, that's how the entrance is supposed to be. So, to actually go upstairs, all right. I will also replace the floor here and replace it with some oak wood planks. That's another thing I could be doing right now. Alright, so we just get this taken care of. So if you want, I will highly recommend you replacing the floor with oak wood planks. I think it's a lot better, to be very honest with you.
So anyway, if you do hear the fire, um, I made a grill from Mr. Crayfish, which I t some of you guys may remember that I told you about him. Some of you guys may not, but that's okay. That's absolutely fine, all right? And it's completely unnecessary if you heard that fire. We got a little bit off topic. So anyway, let's continue on with the burger thing that we were making. So next thing we want to do now, after we've added our two rows of soul sand in a five by five fashion, we want to add that. And then hopefully we can add ourselves our bun. Like that. So the there's a little to a burner. Well anyway, maybe the next thing I could do is I could replace the bottom of like the bottom row of soul sand and I could replace it with some with the orange wool. I think that'll be a better and smarter idea. Now anyway. So anyway, now we can just go add some doors on this thing. Dark oak is probably more modern. And then once we get in here, we're going to um we're going to get rid of the yellow wool. Actually no, nah, that's pretty much a horrible idea. So anyway. We're just going to keep that um, upper middle block uncovered. And then back here, actually, we're going to make it this one because the door is right there. That's going to be a horrible idea. Anyway, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be grabbing some ladders and we're going to be running up a row of ladders that will take us to the second floor. There is a lot of room on this floor. Now, let me go, to go grab some torches real quick again. And let me go to go light this place up. Like this. Alright. Just light up as much as you can. Alright. It does have to be perfect. Anyway, the next thing I want to do is add to add a one trap door. Alright. I want to add this. I want to kind of like add it right around here. Yeah, like that. Alright. So we can actually get up onto it. Like that. Alright. Hence while up here, we're going to be, um, let's see. Maybe the idea I had, oh, dang it. Anyway, so. Maybe the idea I have for the second row, second floor, I should say, is I want to grab a chest crafted table furnace. We could grab an enchantment table, some bookshelves, and um, what else? We have a bed here. We have a bed with some signs, a painting, for instance, and a beacon. That's probably all we're going to be needing down here. So anyway, here's where I want the beds. I want the beds to be right here like this. We're going to be adding some bookshelves next to the beds, add beacons directly on top, and then probably up here we're going to be adding a painting. I want it to be like a 1x2 painted like that. Yeah, that looks very pretty. I love it. Next to, um, I'm not sure why I grabbed that science for, but I was think of maybe we can have some maybe we can have like a chair here let's see we don't need the beacons no more and we can grab some oak wood stairs and we can make like a little table here and then another thing is that we don't need the paintings no more we can grab the oak wood slabs Like that. Then maybe we can have signs on the chairs like this. Maybe just like a random seat. I would say probably have a TV, but I don't think that'd be a good idea. So anyway, just like have us have a table right there. And probably since we don't need the signs no more, we can have some oak fence 
then we can connect the slab to I know this is going to be a little bit risky but gonna just like maybe we can grab the yellow wolf here all right there we go we need to have a little bit taller here in my particular instance there we go no that'll work that'll work perfectly and then maybe the next suggestion is that i can have like i can extend the seat upwards but i think it'll be good there i think that'll be good anyway the next thing is i'm going to have a little library section so i'm going to make this area here like a bookshelf kind of sort of like Using the bookshelves, we're going to be having some books here. Right? I wanted to cover up this side here. The side that lies just like left to the belt. Back here, I want to have like the entertainment area. Like we can have a, uh, maybe we can have an enchantment table right here. That'll work fine. And we're going to have like the cooking area have three furnaces, crafting tables directly next to it, and maybe here could be like the virtues area, where we can have two with double chests. Yeah, that'll, that'll kind of work. I think I'm pretty satisfied here. Anyway, upstairs, I'd like to consider the attic now. All right. Now, we don't really need much anything in the attic. All we're going to be needing is some ladders. And I'll have to do that. Uh, oh boy, that was a bad idea. <laughs> yep, that was a bad idea, guys. Uh, I've actually went through the burger. So. Now I need to find a different place now. So now, I think my new place is to like have the ladders like right here we can fill that in with red wool and have ladders until it reaches the top here it better not break through you know what that's it i'm gonna do something about this anyway now if we go back in here all right all right anyway Sometimes it's a little bit of a pain to actually deal with that. It's actually kind of a biggie. To actually sometimes deal with things that you don't need to be worrying about. We'll have to destroy a little bit of the burger. Actually do this part. Anyway. So, once we go up here. The only thing I want to do is to add some torches and chests. So, we're going to be grabbing the torches. We're also going to be grabbing the chests. And we're going to add some light all over the place. Like that. Alright. Let's also add a couple to the crevices. Like that. And then maybe we could have like a couple double chests in here. We could fill it up with some secret virtues. Like for example... Probably secret, um, how many diamonds you want to have, for instance. Or, probably have it on how much oil you got in there. How much diamonds you actually stole from your ex-girlfriend. Those are probably some good examples. But hey. So, it's, the possibilities are endless. Because you get to decide. Anyway, guys, that is all I'm going to be doing for the burger house. Hopefully, you like this exterior. Or, excuse me, interior. Hopefully, you think it's awesome. Now, like, before we actually get out of here, I'm going to replace that piece with oak wood planks. Anyway, that is all I'm going to be doing for the burger house. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for incredibly awesome videos every day. Don't forget to give this video a like, and let me know in the comments down below what should I make next in Minecraft. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time in another awesome video.